My name is Samantha, and I am participating this weekend in the April 2022 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Marathon. It is my second time participating in the marathon. Very excited. I've got another three projects that I'll be rotating between this weekend. And how I do it, well, I've only done it once before, but how I do it, so far at least, is I'll be stitching Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for basically as much as I can. Like the ultimate goal would be 24 hours, but that's more of a stretch goal, to be honest. So when I did it last time, I got just under 16 hours. So the official goal for this weekend is 16 hours. It's important to set realistic goals for yourself. So that is where I'm starting. So I'm gonna show you the three projects I'll be rotating between, and then we're just gonna kinda get started. I am still in the middle of a cold most of the way through a cold so the energy level is what it is but stitching is relaxing anyway it's gonna be a rainy weekend this it's gonna work out so the three projects I have for this weekend are a temperature chart a full coverage and a new start which I'll be starting tomorrow but let's start with that one so this is a picture of what it will be this is Letha by the Elven Forest it's a summer solstice pattern and this is where I'm starting basically because I'm planning on changing several of the colors and moving things around on the top and the bottom so this isn't what it'll end up looking like exactly but that's my starting point and that will be stitched on a 18 count oatmeal Ada so I'm excited to start that but that won't be until tomorrow and then the temperature chart I have this is by Christie's Corner it's temperature bookshelf and I purposely saved April for this weekend usually I've, I've been kept I've been keeping up with it but because I knew I was going to use it for the marathon I kind of held back so I'll be doing April this weekend and then if I want to work on this more I can just add I can just add shelves to the bottom but this is where this is starting and then the full coverage is by Allerton Embroidery. It is based on the painting by George Seurat of A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte. This is what I have so far. And I only started this about a month ago, so I am intensely pleased with my progress. I'm very excited to be working on it some more this weekend. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the plan is to work on this corner here and then go down more to work on the grass along the bottom and then to extend the blue over to the corner. That's the plan as of now. And I'll take a picture of where this is so I can compare it to where I'm at at the end of the weekend. With the other ones like this, it's the new stuff is the new shelf and then the new start is the new start. So I'm excited to get started. I'm basically setting it up pretty similar to how I did the first weekend, but I want to kind of approach it a little more casually because I kind of, I was approaching burnout last time I did it in January. So I'm hoping for even better results this time and just to have a fun, relaxing weekend full of stitching. So let's get started. So I decided to start with my full coverage and I'm going to be starting with this grass section at the bottom. So this is my starting point. All right, my current total stitch time is two hours, 47 minutes. This is where I am at so far. And I'm going to continue on this piece, but move up to this corner and work over here. Okay, this is my stopping point for day one. My total stitch time so far is four hours and ten minutes. Got most of the top filled in, but I feel good about my progress, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. All right, it's now Saturday morning, <laughs> and let's get started for day two. This is what I've started working on this morning. This is my new start, and you can start to see some of the color changes I have. Um, the, the colors in the dress, the skin color, and the hair are different than charted, but I really like them so far. Pleased with my progress. Total stitching time so far is 6 hours 59 minutes, so I am setting a great pace for myself. It's now a little after 12.30, and I'm next going to start on my temperature bookshelf. 
I'm now halfway through the April shelf. My total stitch time so far is 9 hours and 18 minutes, and it's not quite 4 o'clock yet, so I've still got a good chunk of the night to go. Um, but before moving on, I wanted to show you how I keep track of my temperature charts. So this is my cross-stitch journal. I keep track of my starts and finishes, and in the back, I have my version of the like temperature spread. I did change it a little from what is um, provided in her chart. And then I did choose my own colors. So I have all of these listed here. And then I have the date with that day's high temperature. When I'm done, I cross it off. So I've got April still to complete. But that is how I track that. So I think my plans for the rest of tonight are first to go back to my new start, get some more work on that. I want to work more on the dress and get her head and her hair outlined at least. And then I think I'll do a little bit more on my full coverage. I want to finish this corner and then move my way down here. It's now a little after 8 o'clock. My total stitch time is 11 hours and 52 minutes. So I got most of the dress done, but finished the face and the hair, or the head and the hair rather. I like the the flower crown. Whoop, focus. Nope, okay, there we go. <laughs> I like the flower crown that she's wearing. Um, so I'm going to go back to the full coverage to finish out day two. And as a reminder, I'm going to be working in this top corner, hopefully finishing this section here. Maybe moving down here, but that might be for tomorrow. So this is my ending point for day two. My total stitch time is 13 hours and 51 minutes. And to be on track for my goal of 16 hours, I needed at least 10 hours today. So I am way ahead of the game. But I will be running some errands tomorrow, so that definitely helps out. It's now Sunday afternoon. It's about 1.30. I had a nice slow morning, took a shower, ran some errands, did a little gardening, so I'm a little tired, but I am ready to spend the rest of my day stitching, finishing out my cross-stitch marathon weekend. I'm not sure which one of my projects I'm going to start with today, but you'll see in a second. I decided to go back to my new start. I think I'm going to so finish the dress and then maybe work on the bottom and maybe put in the sun. And this is my progress. I'm really pleased with it. My stitch time is now up to 16 hours and 15 minutes, which means I've officially met my goal. So anything above now is just extra. I think next I'm going to go back to my temperature chart. So I finished the April books, which I'm really pleased with. There's just the little, um, decoration accessory at the end, which I'm not going to put in right now. I think I'm going to make some dinner. It's almost 7.30, and then I'll go back to my full coverage to end out the day. And my total stitch time is up to 18 hours, 31 minutes. All right, back to the full coverage, and I'm going to continue working in this section here. I reached 20 hours, which I think is amazing. I'm so pleased with how the whole weekend went and with my progress. So this is where I got to on this one tonight. I will film a little recap wrap-up clip tomorrow, and we'll be good to go. All right, so that brings us to the end of the, my second time participating in the 24 Hours of Cross Stitch Marathon. I am still stunned that I got to 20 hours. I think that's amazing. It was more than I thought I would get. So that was a lot of fun to stitch that much in one weekend. I wanted to approach it more casually than I did the first time, and I think that definitely helped. Um, I, I just wanted to stitch more like I usually do, but just more of it. And I accomplished that, so that was good. Um, so a quick re recap of the progress on the three projects I worked on. So I'm going to start with my full coverage. So this is where it was at the start of the weekend. And this is where it is now. And then I'll show the two sections that I worked on. So this was the top corner at the beginning. And the top corner now. 
And then the grassy part at the bottom, let me fold it, and then that part now. And this, so this color, in the current lighting, you can see the difference. In other lighting, it completely blends in, so. It is what it is, I'm not gonna change it at this point, certainly. Okay, so next, let's do my new start. So this is, sorry. Full coverage is A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Chatte by Allerton Embroidery. My new start is Letha by The Elven Forest. So there's no before picture since it's a new start. This is how far I got this weekend. And I'll show the, I'll show what it looks like as charted and you can see some of the changes I've made. But I am pleased with it. And then I worked on my temperature chart. This is Temperature Bookshelf by Christie's Corner. And I did all of the April shelf, although I still have the accessory to put in. But other than that, I did all the books, so I'm very pleased with that. So I think the other interesting thing about doing this marathon weekend is because it gives you a better idea of exactly how long it takes <laughs> to do to cross stitch because you think you know 20 hours like this basically took four hours like for this for this shelf it seems like it shouldn't take that long but it does it and like yeah there's a lot of color changes but still but yeah so it was, it was a fun weekend I think I'm next time I do it I'm gonna set it up the same way just approach it really casually just um, and just get as much time as I can. I re really liked, again, switching between three projects. I think that is the number that works for me. So I'm going to do that again next time. I'm excited to do it again in a few months. Yeah, I don't participate in many cross-stitch challenges, but I do really enjoy the 24-hour marathon weekend. So if you participated, congratulations. No matter how many hours you got, you did a good job. You got some stitching done, and that's what counts. So I'll see you next time.